Hello everybody, this is Vampire Rune. I'm here with another video. Um, if you haven't noticed, I made a live stream like, like a few days ago about the whole Lumi and every situation. Um, I'll put that in the link in the bio if you want to watch it. It's an hour long. Um, people who have known me four or five years ago, I made my first ever kind of rant video on Flutter at the first time and I'll show it right here. Ding, there it is. But I also made a few about Flutter as well, as you can see right there. You're probably going to be asking me, what am I doing making another video update on Flutter? It's not just going to be a conversation about Flutter. It's also going to be about Lumi because I've been dealing with both of them and it's always around this time of year. Um, Before I continue, um, I'm only going to bring up the recent conversation that Flutter messaged me on, on Discord and all these kind of things because of Lumi doxing. If you're not aware, um, I will show the video that I made on Lumi as well for doxing Flutter, and I have so much proof of Lumi doxing Flutter. Now, I have every other screenshots I ever had of Lumi as well, and they talk exactly the same, so every other account that Lumi makes, I know the way they talk, especially all the alt accounts they made, because, um... On my live stream, I mentioned that they hacked into my toy house and said some fucked up shit to Flutter on toy house that I had to contact Flutter saying that it wasn't me at all. And I don't even inbox people on toy house. And I also had a similar issue when Lumi also hacked into my old and brand new Blue Sky account that a friend made for me. And was saying a lot of shit about Flutter and a lot of fucking other fucked up shit. Plus sharing child porn on my shit. None and less. Yeah, Lumi did that. I wish I was fucking kidding, but I'm not. I'll even show you my old TikTok video where I was talking about literally getting hacked because of Lumi. So, I'm gonna make a little, um, rant over here. So recently, I had a blue sky, which is basically a different version of TikTok, uh, not TikTok, of Twitter, or like the quote, better version of Twitter. Mind you, you need to get a code to have, um, blue sky, almost like how Toy House is. So, I don't know if somebody just randomly hacked my account and I had to delete it for safety reasons because... Um, apparently yesterday, um, I went on Blue Sky and I noticed something off. And apparently I got threatened to actually unalive myself on my own account. And they were like, if you know who you are, then you deserve to actually go die. And then was posting some CPE and, um, other shit. And I have the proof of it as well. And I'm trying, and I looked at the logs because you could look at the logs, and that's what I did. And it kept literally going on and off like every few seconds to minutes. And I'm having like a pa uh, panic attack because I'm here, like, what the fuck? What is happening? Like, I literally just got on here, like, I logged in and I noticed something was off. And then there was another tweet saying, the people who I hear, I hope they know something, something. Look, I have the screenshot of it. Mind you, my blue sky is, uh, well, was an 18 plus adult, adult account. And I don't know if there was a way to like make it private and also like change a password and email into it, like similar to like how Insta and Twitter was, which I don't use Twitter anymore. But when I did, you have that option. Um, and you can see that I never posted the, if you're reading this and you know who you are, while you would read it, you go and die and shit. Um, and then something about the gist of pissing people off, which I don't even follow these people. I only follow people that I am mutuals with. And again, it was for like adult content purposes. And then the other one on top of this is I don't think the people I hate realize that I want them to not exist, which... I would never say that, even if we have beef with each other, I don't say that shit anymore. And even if I did, I would literally tell you 
in all honesty, that I was serious about it, but that is the shit that I did when I was a teenager. I'm a grown-ass woman. I stopped doing that petty shit and I learned to move on and not give a fuck, but this was really concerning to me. And I'm still trying to find, a uh, find answers because not only that, I was also trying to go through my emails and see, like, who tried to log in because usually... If a person tries to log into your stuff and gets into it, you would get a warning and everything, being like, oh, is this your login? Is this your device? Blah, blah, blah. I never got that for Blue Sky. And I looked everywhere through my emails, my notifications, everything. I didn't get shit. So while I'm trying to still figure out who did this shit, even one of my friends said the best suggestion to do is delete your Blue Sky because that is pretty fucked up. And another mutual of mine asked, do you want another code I can give you and you can just make a new one? And I said, even if I make a new one, I feel like it's just going to happen again and I don't want to stress about it. I'm like, so I'm not going to even bother making another one. I'm like, it is what it is. But it's the fact that I had to literally delete my Blue Sky account and I only had it for literally not even three weeks. I had to delete it just for my safety. And because not only that, as soon as I was like going through like, the logs of like what happens and everything like you know how discord you look at um like if you have a sir excuse me you have a server and you look through your logs i guess you can do that with blue sky and that's what i was doing i was looking through the logs and see what the fuck was going on and then checking through my emails and then as soon as i refreshed my blue sky account they were saying a lot of like unnecessary shit finding random ass cp and then trying to act like basically trying to talk like me when Everybody knows me for the past, like, eight plus years now, even five years. And they know saying, like, that's not how you sound or talk. And even if you did, we all know how you speak. There's no fucking way that was you. And everybody gave me the best option was to delete it. But, again, it still upsets me because, like, I still haven't found out who did this. And I know nobody's going to confront and admit that they did this. And it's kind of sad and literally immature because it's kind of like what is the point in starting shit and then trying to make it seem like i actually did it and then people get the misinformation and it's like here's proof that wasn't me i didn't even post anything on blue sky when this happened and as soon as i got on it did it right in front of me so you know that even if i would even when i was finding the problem it was still happening with the post and tweets so i had to delete it for my safety but um if anybody who has blue sky like um this certain new app be aware if this does happen be cautious because this recently happened to me today and i just kept getting more threats as it went i wish i screenshotted more besides the one that i recently have but with guidelines and everything, I didn't want to break it. But everybody knows how I talk, how I act and everything. And they even said that I haven't done anything and I haven't said anything like that. Besides, when I was literally a preteen, my, like a preteen in like starting social media, but like for the past few years now and recently, I haven't said shit. Nor have I got into shit or anything. But if you have a blue sky just be cautious and always check your um basically like your logs your emails and all this other shit because i was still new to blue sky so i didn't even really know how i could have changed my password even though i had a strong password and a whole strong email so that's what made me like confused like what the fuck and all this other shit so um just be cautious. That's that's all I'm asking. So more likely this video is more likely a um warning to be cautious of having a blue sky because I don't want people to go through that similar shit that I just had to experience today. Cause literally my day was shit because of a few things. So this I didn't need on top of, but it is what it is. Yeah. It was pretty fucked up that I had to delete an account that a friend gave me, a code that a friend gave me, had it for literally only two weeks just to find out Lumi did that shit.
And same time when this happened, that's when my toy house got hacked to the point I had to reset my password and my email. Because they were saying the same exact shit. And if you don't believe me, I have older, legitimately older text messages from Lumi. And they all come out the same. I'm reposting the recent ones because they add up to literally the older conversations. And let's not forget that Lumi at the time also used an alt account and told me to unalive myself two years ago because Flutter did shit that they weren't supposed to do. And I remember telling them that their apology was shit and they didn't mean it. And Lumi was friends with Flutter again while also talking shit about Flutter and literally doing the shit that they're still doing till this day. And, um... Yeah, very clever that you just keep outing yourself, Lumi. Anyways, if you want to know about who Lumi is, I advise if you do have a Twitter or X account, um, I would advise following this account and or just checking the updates because they also post about Lumi of what they've done and what Lumi has done, especially faking cancer, suicide baiting, and everything else. So they got the information that you need if you want to know who Lumi is. Um, if you ask, no, I don't use Twitter, I only have a dead account that's literally completely dead, like, I am being so dead ass. I don't even use Twitter anymore, um, but the only way to get the account information and the person who makes warnings about Lumi and keeps tracks of every account Lumi has, X, Y, and Z, is this account, and I had to log back in to just snag it. Anyways, now let's talk about Flutter, since, you know, Flutter is the main subject of this as well. So no, I'm not just talking about Lumi. I'm not just talking about Flutter. It's both. I'm going to reintroduce myself again about me and Flutter situation. Hello, I'm Vampiric Runes and I am basically one of the few, well, first victims of Flutter known as Muted Chi, Dove, Mew, Quannable Bunny, or whatever other names they went by. Um, I've met Flutter around mid-2017, beginning 2018. Um, this was when I was also around the time era where I was a serial tracer and, um, I stalked people and stole their stuff out of pettiness and I don't know what other reasons it could be behind that. Um, I also basically didn't know Flutter at the time, but, um, when I traced a certain user's art, which I don't want to use their dead channel name, but they went by V at the time. But I don't know their new name, but I don't want them involved. But I'm just saying that I and that person and a few other people had a history with certain shit. Um, and I guess Flutter made a video about me at one point, which is deleted. But at one point, Flutter basically made a video about how my dad basically sitting there saying that my dad was a pedophile because he was quote unquote talking to kids when originally when the live streams were made about me he was actually confronting said teenagers because the people who were talking about me were between two to three years plus older than i was and um basically my dad no knew about what was going on and he was actually defending me and telling them what they shouldn't be doing and what could have been handled this that and the third whatever his experience as a tattoo artist and all this kind of stuff in the industry that kind of stuff and Flutter just went out there and just pointed fingers being like, oh yeah, Vampiric's father is a pedophile and harasses kids. When I do understand that my father did say some horrendous shit himself and that's kind of sort of where I got it from, which I'm not saying, oh my god, I got it from him so it's a personal trait thing. No, but um, I will state that I apologize for my father basically going that far because, you know, being a parent and protecting your kids, especially on social media, can basically make you say a lot of shit that you shouldn't be saying, especially on the internet, especially if you know what stays on the internet, especially for the rest of your life. So, um, yeah, I do apologize for that from years ago. So I'm just stating that now. I should have said that years ago, but I didn't. Anywho, um, and then I remember on DeviantArt, 
um, somebody messaged me that Flutter basically made a parody character of me, which two certain users or few did make parody Sona slash OCs of me out of hatred, especially one person made a parody OC of where I, I think, opposingly died from poison or something, or like I unalyzed myself from using said po It was something like that. I can't remember, but I know it was something like that. But, um, I found out Flutter basically made a parody Sona out of me and said a lot of fucked up shit. I don't have the screenshots of these anymore because they were on a very broken and unalived tablet now. So, that kind of fucking sucks. Um, but basically, I remember contacting Flutter, telling them like, hey, can you remove that? Because, you know, that's kind of fucked. And I don't appreciate that. And then, you know, we talked it out and then we were fine. One thing I started to notice after, I think, one month of our friendship was that basically Flutter will go behind my back and basically say what I said. But then will come back to me and tell me what they said about me. Hence why me and the three or four other artists were at each other's throats again. Because Flutter at the time was basically like, Oh, well, Vamp saying this about you and then comes back to me saying, oh, well, you know, um, they're saying this about you, Vamp, kind of thing. But I understand you got to realize we were also teenagers and kids. So, like, you know, we were petty as fuck. I will agree. We were petty as shit. Um, but, you know, sorry if you hear background noise. My dad is uh, talking about his job or whatnot. So I will try to, like minus that with music or something if I can I don't know um so another thing was that me and Flutter after a while started to be friends and everything but I had also a few artists tell me be like hey are you aware that your you know best friend was getting not safe for work commissions and everything da 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 knowing that they're underage whatnot and you know me sitting here being like I didn't know that but then again I kind of did the same shit too so I'm not sitting here being like, oh, it was only Flutter that did that. No, I did the same shit, especially drawing not safe for work art at a young age and everything, yada, yada. Um, but I had people confirm to me that Flutter basically had very toxic traits and was very manipulative and all that kind of thing. But because Flutter was my best friend, I basically was like, oh, nah, I don't I didn't experience that, blah, blah, blah kind of thing. So I still stuck around. But after a while, I did notice that um, Flutter would basically self-diagnose me. And every time I talked about, like, you know, I may be autistic and all that stuff because it was a huge thing that was talked about in my family, especially my parents, where they said that I am on the spectrum, but, like, it was hard for me to get tested or whatnot because the schools refused. The doctors said I was just a late bloomer, this, that, and the third. So my dad kept pushing it when I was still young, especially as a teenager, because I would have gotten the benefits and not the classes, but the groups I should have been in. Because as an adult now, it's actually harder to find groups for adults who are on the spectrum. And then, you know, because of that, I kind of find my own way how to fucking handle shit and do my own things, despite of having things I need to do and keep a whatever. But um, I remember... Again, Flutter did self-diagnose me a few times. And whenever I mentioned about, like, I may have depression, but I wasn't going to sit there saying, oh, I am depressed. But, like, the symptoms I did show and everything, especially my school counselor stating that, like, you do show s some signs and all that. But because I was my school counselor, she couldn't really diagnose me like a professional would. But I remember Flutter sitting there telling me that um, I wasn't depressed I was quote-unquote suicidal for attention, I wasn't autistic, I didn't have this, didn't have that, and basically whenever I talked about how I felt, Flutter would sit there and be like, you don't know what I went through because I had this, I had that, but yet Flutter was also undiagnosed with mental health problems. So that's why it was kind of like, how are you going to try to self-diagnose me when I'm even when I was in therapy and I got told and confirmed that, yeah, I have double depression and shit, Flutter will still try to deny that they were wrong. 
And flutter is the type of person where, like, you can look it up on the internet and find similar symptoms and sit there and be like, oh, yeah, maybe this is what I got. But, like, there's a good form of so like, what I'm trying to say is, like, when it comes to self-diagnosis, there's the good and then there's the bad. Because the more you tell yourself, like, oh, this is what I have and not get professionally diagnosed, then you're going to think for the rest of your life that's what you have. But then come to find out it could have been something else like I sat there for the longest time thinking that um I had something more than just what I was diagnosed with and then come to find out I have dysthemia which is a type of depression then major depression which is another form of depression so it was just double depression then I had generalized anxiety and then I had this and then I had that so yeah that's fun that's great um but I remember flutter self-diagnosing me and everything and another thing was is that what I was told by one of their friends or ex-friends at the time is that Flutter would sit there using her characters and say that I guess if I'm re- if I remember the character Trickster I guess was her tulpa well, well their tulpa thing I'm sorry if I said um their tulpa thing I don't know But at the time, I didn't know what dissociating identity disorder was, which is basically that. And I remember two years ago at a birthday party, my cousin was there. Yeah, my cousin was there. And she mentioned that she has dissociated identity disorder, if I'm saying that right. And I remember, I think think when I think it was either when my cousin blacked out one of her um I guess I'm just gonna say tulpas but one of them did come out and that was the first time but my cousin's friend stated that she was diagnosed with that and then you know there's more than just that one that I witnessed but in person that was the first time but I remember talking to my cousin and I told her about what Flutter did and all that kind of stuff. And they were like, why would Flutter do that? Because, again, for the longest time, Flutter would sit there saying Trickster was like her, their tulpa. And from one of their ex-friends, they said that Trickster was actually just a character. Flutter was basically faking it for attention And then when I found out more what DID was, especially since I think 2021, 2022, I started to watch more about it because, you know, I didn't know much of it. So I figured learning about it and, you know, I have found out that I had a cousin who has it. So I figured why not? I guess learn about it so I know what to do, what not to do or set some sort of trigger, what not, blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. Because, again, if I find something new and I don't know about it, I'm going to look it up and know about it. Um, But, no. Flutter just basically is still the same person that I first met. And I know that I said fucked up shit. I said vile shit. I've done it. I even said a lot of fucked up shit to them. But they told me to choke on glass they told me that being in the mental hospital was well deserved because I deserved it and I remember at the time as well because of certain drama I forgot which one that one was but they made a alt account and basically saying that I deserved what was coming to me and basically a lot of fucked up shit I even had Flutter literally call the cops on me more than once over the shit they done to me. I had cops literally two years ago come at my house because they actually threatened my boyfriend saying, well, if you don't stop your girlfriend for quote bullying me, I'm going to call the cops. So my boyfriend, you know, being a smart ass being like, okay, go ahead because we already know the truth. And Flutter was showing cropped messages while I screen recorded all of our messages That's why my boyfriend knew, like, okay, Flutter's just talking shit out of their ass kind of thing. And everybody who has surrounded themselves with Flutter knew. Um, I remember being a call with my boyfriend, with Cheb, Puffy, Cheb's boyfriend, 
and another best friend of mine, Annie. We were all in a call, and we were all ranting about what Flutter was doing, especially when Flutter also made porn art of my best friend's wife in them more than once, being very highly obsessive. And Flutter, in a way, did the same thing, but when Flutter first met my boyfriend, before I get into the cop fucking bullshit... We had a group chat, and we were talking, and I was working at the time, and this was before I even got proven to get tested for autism and also disability because I struggled with working plus other things, blah, yeah. Um, I remember in a group chat that me and my boyfriend had because my boyfriend was like, despite of what Flutter did, I want to get to know them kind of thing because he's like that. So I said, okay, whatever, no problem. I kid you not, every time I was on break or I had to read a message so I can either tell my dad or a relative being like, hey, I need a ride home kind of thing, I would check Discord and shit. I had Flutter sit there and tell my boyfriend behind my back saying, oh, we should share Vamp. Oh, we should cuddle Vamp together. Oh, I bet you she's soft. Oh, this, that, and the th-. Like, very weird shit. And that's when my boyfriend took a sign like, does Flutter have an obsession crush thing on you? And I remember coming home from work and I called my boyfriend and we were in a group call actually. And Cheb basically exclaimed like, Flutter did show signs of having feelings for me. And there was a time where Flutter did state that they had feelings for me and I asked why? Especially after I quoted, I said, why would you, a person who has mentally and emotionally fucked me up, later on have feelings for me? And their excuse was, what makes you think that I'm going to tell a straight person why I got a crush on them or whatnot? And it's like, I had an ex-friend in high school who had a crush on me after my ex-boyfriend Sam broke up with me. And my ex-best friend said she had a crush on me, and I listened to her why. And she understood that I took it as a compliment, but I wasn't interested. So that would have applied to you also, but I said, whatever, I'm not going to push it. But it's the fact that, like, they kept making different excuses why they didn't want to tell me. And then sat there being like, oh... It's probably my mental health or some sort of something, whatever. And that's when we got into an argument for something about that or whatever it was. But they would also sit there and say, oh, I'm tired of getting villainized or whatnot. But yet blast me on their social medias and say a lot of vile, disgusting shit. And I'm just sitting there and I'll sit here and tell myself being like, if I even say anything back, I'm the I'm the main asshole, not Flutter. So I kind of was like, whatever. But after a while, for two years now, I kind of was like, okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck at this point. I don't got the time and energy for you. But it's just like, I don't know, honestly. I mean, we had a good start of our friendship, but then it went into pieces. And then... I don't know, I've seen lots of red flags, but there was times where it was either I just A, didn't give a fuck, or B, I just cared too much to the point where it's like, okay, I got hurt, whatever, I'm gonna go back to them kind of thing. So yeah, for me sitting there saying that they did a lot of abusive shit and has done a lot of fucked up shit to me, I gave them more than just three chances, which I should have just given them three chances, but for some reason I gave them like maybe 20 plus chances by far. But I don't know if it was because, like, I don't even have a real reason why. I think it was because, like, oh, people, I give people other chances and then that gets thrown out the window within a month. But I don't know. I remember Flutter also telling me a while ago, like, months ago, like, oh, how come you give this person three or more chances? Whatever. Something, something. And I told them, and I'm like, what are you talking about? You and that person had the same treatment. You fuck up once, you're done. And then if I see change, I can talk to you and be mutuals. But if I see that you slip up, then I'm I'm gone. I'm not dealing with it. I'm packing my shit and going. I don't got time to babysit. I don't got the... I 
have my own mental health going on. I have my own personal shit. What makes you think I got the time for any fucking shit, especially drama-wise? I would like to know that. But anyways, I also mentioned the other half on a live stream and I think on something else. So if you watch the live stream, I'm pretty sure you get the other gist and the other parts of what I'm talking about on here. So I'm not going to mention a lot more because I don't know if I can make an hour video on this on Cape Cut. So, um, yeah. Anywho, I'm not the only victim in this situation. I have a few other friends who are a victim, especially um, the fact that... What I found out about Flutter is very disgusting, especially since um, when I was getting the person's Twitter account about the Lumi situation, um, I had to go and block Flutter because, you know, Flutter has an obsession of stalking me and shit and then uses the excuse of, I'm quote, worried for you and I get nightmares about you, about you unaliving yourself and all these kind of things, but yet you were the person that told me to unalive myself. So please make that make sense, because it really don't. I mean, I'm not using it against you. I'm not... I know they're probably going to sit there being like, Oh, you still remember that? You couldn't move on? I did, but I'm using that exact wording that you said to me a while ago. Because it still makes me think. Why are you worried about even if I did or not? Or what my well-being is when you didn't give a fuck in the first place? Anyways, I brought it up to my friends in a group chat and I mentioned that basically when Flutter had their old Twitter account before having Muted Chi as their newest one of what I'm hearing and what I saw when I had to fucking block them. Um, basically, I guess they followed this artist and Flutter followed them before and I have proof of that as well on their old account. Um, this artist was very well known for publicly stating that they make commissions of feral animals sexually with their whole genitals out, everything, literally. And at the time before Twitter took away their likes or hid their likes, Flutter interacted with that by liking it. And before I continue on with this one, um, in their old server, Flutter would always say in a call that if it's fantasy, then don't sit there calling me a zoo file that I like dog genitals because it's a werewolf character grow up kind of thing. And it's like, yeah, fantasy or not, in my opinion, that's kind of weird. Like, the fuck? Like, I don't understand how you can find, okay, whatever, whatever floats your boat, but... I remember Flutter also stating that if you're going to call me a zoophile, then show proof because, God forbid, I like the image of a werewolf with his dick out, something, something. I'm a zoophile because, what, the werewolf has a dog dick? Uh, that's concerning, buddy, especially since I doesn't matter if it's fantasy or not, why? But, yeah, let me... Let me show those screenshots because um, this was also the same time when I was deleting my old Twitter account and this came across my attention. And I remember posting it on my story a year ago by that, if I'm correct. But I know it was around last year and I'm sitting there like, what the fuck am I looking at? As I stated in the beginning, viewers advised there was a lot of triggering and caution warning, and I stated that this is gonna pop up, so it's best to turn out, turn away right fucking now, but this is the evidence I have. Despite of it being censored, it's still there. So this is the artists that Flutter associated and followed, especially on their old account. Before I continue, this is the same artist that Flutter also sat there saying that I guess this artist asked for sympathy or apologized to a dead man who was very well known to be an active zoo. And the artist sat there saying, well, he's dead, what do you want me to do? But gave the guy sympathy because of something, something. But yet, Flutter followed this exact account one year ago, noticing that this person in the past, doesn't matter if it's in the past or not, made commissions and posted four-legged animals showing off their genitals and was proud of drawing it 
this was Flutter's old account, and you can tell that they followed this artist, Alt and the active one. The Alt one is the Princess Scumbag. The newest one, I'm assuming, is Princess Demonica. But, till this day, Flutter followed them. And here's proof of the artist's art of what they did. Flutter was even called out by somebody about the activities of them liking this kind of art form. But it was also, this one was about the werewolf one. And basically, they noticed that because somebody sent it to them and Flutter's excuse was, Please don't assume. I don't preemptively look through accounts before following. I really only look for age to make sure they're an adult. Can you please tell me the user I follow so I can block? And that's as much information I got from that from an anonymous. But I had to check for myself to be sure because some people can sit there and just run their mouths and not show evidence. And even if they did, I had to just go there to check. But this was a year ago. But yeah, exactly my point. Another thing, if I'm corrected, please correct me if I'm wrong, but if I remember, Flutter stalked a child and groomed a child. There's different forms of grooming, but basically, Flutter did what she did, and not only that, um, Flutter also not only just stalked this minor, but they knew that they were a minor, but made an excuse about their age after the minor explicitly said that they were 14 or 15, and also, Flutter shared not safe work similar images to said minor. And their excuse was, well, I grew up where it was okay to do that or some stuff. Some excuse like that. And I said, but that's a minor. And yes, boobs ain't considered nudity. But your ref sheet included titties and coochie. And a few sexual elements. And you sent that to a minor. And at the time, you also had a huge spite-stealing art thing with my Orja. I have no room to talk because I did the same shit too. Especially the information Flutter gave me. I did the same shit. So no, I'm not saying that Flutter was the only one who did that. I did that as well. And I was wrong for doing that. And I also traced a few things from my Orja. Not just tracing, but also hard referenced off similar shit from my Orja. But Flutter just had this huge hate boner on my Orja. I didn't really know much about my Orja besides what Flutter told me. So I kind of just followed Flutter's lead instead of taking the be a leader than a follower kind of thing. And before I go on, Flutter and Lumi have an on and off relationship as well where they're best friends or siblings or have a secret relationship with each other. And then all of a sudden they have a hay boner on each other and then they go at each other's throats and then they come at me like they've been doing recently. So again, this is nothing new to me. Also, I'm only getting this information because I asked people if they can send forward the evidence for this video especially. And some people still had these so they had to go back and give them to me. So obviously that's where I got them. It's from other people. And some of it was still in my phone from like a year or so ago. So... Or it was sent to me because Flutter sent them to me, so, yeah. Here is past behaviors from Flutter and what they are known for. Again, this is the evidence that I was shown and the evidence I've had and others had. So, I'll be sending them out there. This was towards the minor that Flutter had an obsession and stalked with, by the way. Just wanted to clear that out there. Being mentally ill and, ha and being a cunt as your personality is not being ableist. I'm mentally ill and if I act like a cunt and someone calls me out for being a cunt, that doesn't excuse me because I'm mentally ill. Figure to say that before I don't talk. Even somebody admitted that mu that Flutter is known to self-diagnose. They've been doing this when I known them. 
for seven years now. Keep in mind, this is a 14-year-old, and Mew at the time was 21. Also, Flutter is still stalking the artists that I used to have problems with back then, especially as a teenager, despite me also tracing their shit and stealing. Um, this came to my attention of this year of March or April-ish, and I did say what I said, that, you know, what the user did was pretty fucked up and everything, but at this time and place, what can you do besides just ignore it and laugh it off? But that's something that basically, I guess, Flutter didn't do. And I understand that the artist in question did it just to be petty, out of spite, and just not give a fuck kind of moment thing. And I also get the part of, like, oh, you're making a parody character of a real person, whether they're alive or dead, it is fucked. But at the same time, it's like, what do you want me to do in this situation? And what more do you want me to say? Because, honestly, I forgot this artist even existed, especially... The shit that they also said to me and everything, and I know I said worse shit to them back, but despite of me and the artist having a whole different history than this, I didn't expect Flutter to actually send me a DM about this user in question that I used to have past problems with, especially as a teenager. Well, 12, 13 year old. But, um, yeah. I know I said that, you know, Mink, that Minx shouldn't have done that or what they did. But at the same time, it's like, we don't talk, and there's nothing I can do about that. And not only that, at the time, again, Flutter didn't even have a Twitter unless they had a secret account to stalk others as well. But it's the fact that they've been looking into Minx's stuff for a hot minute, especially after what they sent me. And the image that Minx posted about that character, which for all I know could be just an innocent character i don't know if it's a parody character of flutter but again i didn't ask and it wasn't my problem in a way so yeah i did say yeah that's fucked up but whatnot but um at the same time it was like kind of a what the fuck kind of thing but what can you do but it was it was the moment that like flutter does have a stalking obsession Especially when artists are just doing their own thing and Flutter just roams and stalks. And then, God forbid, if you post something that was serious, like say you're going through something at home or you talk about somebody that's outside of the internet, they're going to quickly assume it's about them. And to me, it feels like they did that with Minx. So that's why I was kind of like, her out of all people? What the fuck? But then again, I was thinking to myself like, Okay, but how did you find that? And you went through all Minx's posts to find that specific one and then come to me about... Huh? But, again, I only let that speak for itself. And, honestly, yeah, just figured to point that out there. Not only that, I was kind of anxious to actually just go forward and tell Minx, like, hey, I don't know if you're aware, but, like, Flutter saw this and I'm gonna assume they're stalking you now for something or one of your friends because I know you guys also had a past issue with Flutter but I wasn't sure how Minx would react and also because again the history that me and Minx have so I was kind of like do I want her to figure that out on her own or somebody else maybe tell her or do I just grow a pair of balls and tell minx myself but again i was really anxious at that time and still am so that's why i was kind of like i want to but i'm kind of a little bit anxious of how the reaction is gonna go but even if i were to tell minx now as a recent about flutter doing that i feel like minx would have been like why didn't you say anything when it started but I know, like, even if I tell her the reason why, I feel like she's going to sit there and think it's an excuse, though. But, um, yeah. Besides the point, um, I know the screenshots I shared also were, like, two so years ago. But, like, it sums up about how Mew's personality is and everything. So, I'm not here to say, oh, yeah, let me bring up the past again kind of thing. It's more of, like, 
what you did exactly two years ago as well is still a reoccurrence of this year as of now kind of thing. But I will get to what Flutter said to me this morning because they followed, they added me, which I thought I blocked them, but I think I forgot to block them again after because I unblocked them to reread the messages on my live or the one video about Lumi. Um, but I'm gonna read what they sent to me this morning and basically go from there. This was, um, I don't know why it says on June they said that, but it should have been recently, but Flutter said, I saw where I was doxxed. We need to talk over call, not text. I said, what is it you want right now? Flutter said, someone showed me where I was doxxed. I don't know who that person is, but I guess thanks for letting them know that they got doxxed. But again, every year around this time, I deal with both of you. And it gets really fucking tiring and annoying. So I said, I ain't a part of you and Lumi shit. I'm aware Lumi, Lumi publicly told me in my channel that channel that she was gonna dox you and she did did i call her out yes the fuck i did but i was shaking that i probably and somewhat dissociated so i probably fucking you know whatever <laughs> flutter said did i say that you were i said then why talk to me about it if i'm not in it flutter said for one because you didn't delete the comments where i was i did delete it i blocked and hid Lumi from my shit and plus the alt account they made on YouTube with the wolf icon, that was deleted because I had people report her. The other account, I don't know if that's deleted now, but I know that when I went to go look for it, I couldn't click on it. I can't click on the username if it's deleted. If you delete an account and I try to click on your name, then guess what? It's either gone or they changed it. But at the end of the day, I checked it and it was gone. I even looked into the Google Chrome version and that shit was gone. But again, jumping the gun at my throat at like 10 in the morning for me. And I was coming to ask you to delete them. I said, if it's not Lumi bothering me with this shit they got you on or whatever, it's you finding a way to text me when I clearly want nothing to do with either of y'all. And delete what if her channel is deleted and comments are gone along with it. She only stated she doxxed you, not sent me your whole IP address for it to me or anything. Batty, do you not get it? Do you not get it? For one, she's never going to delete that account, and you know that. I came to you because somebody came to my fucking house yesterday. Here's the thing, though. Even if she doesn't delete the account, I can literally report them for harassment and threatening. And that's what I did for 30 minutes straight because they were bothering me. Someone came to my house yesterday. I had to call the cops. And I don't know what the el what else I'm going to do. I'm fucking terrified. All I did was ask you to delete them. That's all I asked. And I told you I did, and I made a video countless of times that I tried, and I reported them, and I even have evidence of what they said, so I could also use it for future references that they did what they did was wrong. And not only that, what do you want me to do? I did what I could, and here you are making me feel like shit. I hate you, but yet I went out my way to defend somebody that I don't fucking like, because another person I don't like went out their way to threaten, harass you, and dox you. But here's the thing, though. As if you did not do that to me. You doxed me more than once, and you admitted you did. Countless of times. You did. And I have that. But, yeah, let's make me the asshole because I tried my fucking best. And then you sit there being like, you don't know how I feel. Yes, the fuck I do know how I feel. I know how it feels to get fucking threatened. I know how it feels to get fucking harassed. I know how it feels when people fucking also dox you on the internet. I know how it fucking feels to be put all this kind of shit. Don't sit here and tell me that I don't know how it fucking feels when I fucking do.
I hate that fucking shit. But you do you. Do you not get how fucking scared I am right now? You realize how scared I was when you did the same fucking shit to me? Do you not notice that? Especially when you went out your way, did the same shit, also made an account four years ago, if not three years ago, talking about like, oh yeah, let me just tell the cops that, you know, Kara and Vamper got fucking groomed by a grown ass man on the internet. Before I go on, you want to know how fucking hard it is to move on when you literally said I deserved everything and then sat there saying that what my groomer did was well deserved too on top of that while posting about it sitting there saying that what Kianis did was punishment too <laughs> so what you're telling me is is that I deserved it because I hurt you? I'm sorry. But aren't you a victim of that too? Like, the fuck? Like, are you... Are you pulling my leg right fucking now? The fact that I remember that clear as day, especially that account in that fucking post alone. Do you notice the nightmares I fucking get in the fucking, the way my skin crawls and the scars sting? Because when I wanted to end my life and I harmed myself, all mm -hmm. that motherfucker said was that I was gonna be used as a object no man would love me or anything. And then sat there saying, Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, pup. You'll be fine. We'll heal them wounds up and have fun in bed with his sexual roleplay fantasy shit. He didn't care how I felt. He only cared because he was getting what he wanted. And I had to start knowing that at 17, especially when people had to tell my dad about him. Message my dad his fucking birth certificate, this man's birth certificate and everything. To make me feel disgusted and fucking vile. This man had the opportunity and he has mentioned about coming to see me. Said that we were going to be quote dating once I turned 18. It wasn't just the role plays he did, he did more than that. And the fact that you want me to move on from that, there's no way. The damage is done. And then you, out of all people, sit there saying I deserved it. I deserve to be fucking groomed. I deserve to be told to fucking kill myself. I deserved all the other shit known to fucking man. But yet you sit there saying, oh... You can't say that I did that because I'm a victim of that. Yeah, and I was a victim of that too. And you fucking did that. You even did, said the same similar shit to a 14-year-old saying that they weren't groomed. But yeah, you told me saying I deserved it. I don't care if you apologized for it or not. That fucking hurts regardless. I want to cry and scream, but I fucking can't because I'm numb from that now. I have been. I already got done crying a few hours ago. But what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? Oh, if we did that similar shit to you, we're the bad guys. We're the assholes. We're the abusers. But it's okay for you to fucking do it because it, 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 it fucking does something for you. I don't know what kind of sick kicks you get out of that shit. I already paid my dues for the fucking shit I done, that I fucked up, that I said, that I did, everything. I even admitted that I fucking did it. You're over here still playing victim and then act like a new person every other day mm -hmm. acting like you never fucking did it. With your, oh, I'm sorry, it won't happen again, but then you fucking do it. At least if I'm apologizing to somebody, even though I was a piece of fucking shit, my fucking apology is like fucking six, seven pages long. 
Yet yours is fucking one itty bitty sentence. Sentence. Fuck out of here. I'd honestly love to see proof where I endorse doxing because nowhere have I ever, ever said to dox fucking Flutter or harass Flutter or anything. And for you to sit there and say, oh, this is damage control. God forbid you can't let old friendship go. I've let go of our old fucking friendship. Everybody knows that. It's Flutter who can't let it the fuck go. So where the fuck you getting that information? I really would love to see that. Yeah, I admitted that I doxed Flutter once, but that was five years ago. But Flutter doxed me more than once. Lumi has doxed Flutter more than once. They doxed each fucking other. So instead of twisting the whole thing around, maybe get your priorities straight and get both sides of the fucking story before opening your fucking mouth. You even look like a clown for even saying that, because even my friends agree where the fuck that proof's at. But you can keep yapping over there. And you thought that was fucking funny to do. Yeah, we can pretend that never fucking happened either. I'm terrified, Tyra. I'm terrified. You don't understand this. I do understand. It's just that I go through a different pain and a different fucking framing in time of different shit. I do understand, but since you want to sit here saying I don't understand, I'm going to pretend and tell you that I really don't understand and I really don't give a fuck. For one, has anybody ever come to your house? <laughs> people who came to my house was actually people in my school. The fuck? Not, not ambulance people, strangers. Literal strangers, Kyra. I'm terrified. As if I wasn't terrified? You know how many times I had cops come to my house? Because you sat there saying I was killing myself. Meanwhile, I'm fucking sitting down playing video games. I know there was once or twice where I did feel like I was going to unalive myself. And it was because of you. And then dealing with people in my school. But two years ago, bro, you called the cops and you look like an idiot because what? I was harassing you. I was bullying you. And my boyfriend said, you know, if you're going to call the cops on my girl, go ahead and do it. And you fucking did it. I'm sorry, but like, I did nothing but literally waste my morning telling you what more do you want me to do. I don't fucking like you, but I don't like you. I don't like Lumi. But yeah, I told that bitch straight out because she herself also told me to kill myself. Has said a lot of fucked up shit about me. Both of y'all did. But yeah, I'm over here defending a bitch I don't like. And then telling another bitch I don't like to go fuck themselves. But yeah, I'm the fucking asshole. I'm the bad guy. No matter what I do to try, I'm still the shitty one. You still sit there saying I did nothing for you. I did nothing but listen to you, try to do what I could do as a best friend at the time, this, that, and the third, and you still made me look like a fucking asshole. So I said back, how do you expect me to delete her stuff if I can't see it because on my end it's deleted and gone? What more do you want me to do? And I've been nothing but reporting Lumi as we fucking speak. You think I'm not stressed out from other shit on top of her? Every year around this time of year, y'all come to me and it's one year a one year after a fucking another. I'm sorry that happened, I am, but I don't know what else you want me to do. I did my best. I fucking tried. I hate you, yeah, but I never ever condone anybody doxing you, and I even confronted Lumi on that shit, but what more can I do? I do nothing but mind my own fucking business, do my own fucking thing, worry about my own mental state and sanity, I can only do so fucking much, bro, so fucking much, and then you sat there sitting, sorry for contacting you, it's officially clear to me people want me dead, and I think I need to give that to them, so you're gonna suicide bait me, bro, because I, di I tried? I tried! This is not the first time you've done that. And because they blocked me or unadded me, I couldn't even finish what I was saying. But I sent it in a group chat because where else am I going to fucking send it? So I said, I don't know why you can't get cops involved with Lumi when she's doing the most horrendous shit, especially it's illegal to do this shit. 
but they're far away. I don't know what you fucking want me to do. I did my part. I even confronted her ass for an hour on end and all day. I have a fucking headache because of stress enough at home and barely eat half the time because I feel sick to my stomach if I fucking do. I got shit to worry about. Then what internet morons do? But I did what I fucking could. But hey, thanks for making me feel like a total failure and a shithead when I did nothing but try. And the fact that I did all this despite that I fucking hate you, I still, still to this day, defend you and I get pressure or treated like shit when I do nothing but try. What more you want me to do? I tried. I'm a computer geek, but I ain't that intelligent with how to get Lumi banned, get her removed, get cops at their location, etc. Because I leave that to the real experts. I ain't them. I'm so tired of you and Lumi, but you at my throat every moment I have when I done nothing, nothing but try. All I do is try and I receive shit. I know how it feels to be doxxed because you have doxxed me more than fucking once. That I've been scared to leave since because you did that. You snagged my address off my father's business page for revenge, but I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's well deserved because you done this to me and probably others because I never would stoop that fucking low. Back then, yeah. Now, no. I don't got the time for this shit. I'm 22 years old. I do nothing but worry about my own fucking shit. But yeah, and before people sit there saying I didn't let go of friendship, I have. I've been letting go of this for four fucking years. The only time we talked was about either this shit and then we just went past it and moved on before shit went back up again. But not once have I ever sat there and claimed that me and Flutter were friends again, especially as of recently when we did used to talk again. But they slipped back up and did the same shit over and over again. And I'm not dealing with that. No one affects my health very fucking negatively. And I don't got the time and patience for it. I don't. But people sitting there saying that I can't let old friendship go. I have let this go. I have. Flutter is the one that is trying to regain our friendship. And it's just not working out. And it never does. And it never will be. Never. The people that despise Flutter as of now, they want nothing to do with Flutter. And Flutter will sit there and sit there and try to regain that friendship because they miss it. Well, guess what? If you didn't do the shit that you did, then maybe you wouldn't fucking be here. But here we are. Take it with a grain of salt. Leave people the fuck alone who don't want to fuck with you anymore. And I am going to mention this in the video as well because even my friends are sitting there being like, what is Vamp going to do? What do you want Vamp to do? You're going to pin the blame on her because she don't know what to fucking do when someone's doxing somebody else? Matter of fact, doxing somebody that she don't fucking like but did her best to fucking tell another bitch that? I don't fucking like that what they did was wrong. Don't pin me as a fucking asshole because I did what I fucking could. There's nothing more I can fucking do. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I really want to know. There's nothing more I can do. I did what I fucking did. But I even stated I don't fucking condone it. And you're still sitting here being like, well, you didn't help Flutter, so might as well condone it. I don't condone shit. Nothing. Get the fuck out of here with that. Anyways, I'm going to have my friend Hayden talk about their part of the situation that they dealt with Flutter, especially what Flutter has done to them. And there's probably a few other victims in this, so I'm going to ask them to do voice messages to tell their side of it. Because I'm not the only one in this whatsoever. Actually, no, before I even get to that, I've been informed that Flutter lied about me on their Twitter. I did not yell at Flutter. I told them, what more do you want me to do? I didn't see Lumi send any fucking document, nothing. It would have came up on my feed, which has not. And I will show that. It has not shown. And I told them, what more do you want me to do? Call the cops. I didn't condone shit. If I block somebody on YouTube, I'm not going to see more of their comments. It's been like that. I've been doing that. So me blocking Lumi, for all I know, because I blocked her and I hid her from my shit... So she wouldn't dox Flutter or send Flutter's information. I'm not going to see it because I blocked them. You didn't send me a screenshot what video or what post Lumi did it on. Or what account. So I would know. That is your fault. Not mine. 
You didn't tell me specifically which, and I did not yell at you, but now you want to say I yelled at you? I'm yelling because the false shit is ridiculous. Instead of showing screenshots and full cropped messages of what I actually said, you would know, but you didn't. So the lies need to fucking stop. Because I don't condone shit. You lying about that shit makes you look fucking dumb right now. So fucking dumb. You telling people that I condone this shit makes me look like a fucking asshole. God forbid you can't let shit go. You can't let our old friendship go. God forbid I moved on and you cannot. For fuck's sakes, Flutter, go touch grass. Go do something. I am tired. I am stressed. I have my own shit to do. I shouldn't be here dealing with you or Lumi. None of y'all. But you sitting here saying, oh, she's more worried about her image? Bitch, I could care less. I could not care less. But you want to sit here and lie and play victim? It's beyond fucking me. Um, this space isn't going to be long. Um, I was doxxed recently. Uh, I don't know by who, but unfortunately, where they did it is where they did it it makes me think I know who it is but um I'm not gonna hide names in this space because I don't have the mental capacity right now to come up with different names um under this person called Vampiric Runes's uh, post, several of her YouTube videos, uh, someone doxxed me. They posted, uh, I only showed screenshots of them posting a doc, like a Google doc, with um, some of my information on it including my my full name my full legal name uh in state and city uh the fa the fact that i i live at home with my parents um and i'm honestly really scared that they're going to add my address when they find it um but if I'm being honest with you, I'm honestly scared because there are people out there who do know my address and I'm terrified they're going to give it to this person. Um, I, I, I don't know what to do anymore. I genuinely don't know what to do anymore. I've already had a stranger come up to my house yesterday. Um, I mean, it, I'm terrified right now. I'm, I'm absolutely terrified right now. And unfortunately, when I went to go talk to the person, you know, who made it socially acceptable to make me look like a monster, no matter what way, whether it's writing false information. So this is one of Flutter's white nights, I'm going to assume, because Flutter mentioned me on their what Twitter. What false information? Spreading lies and misinformation, and everybody Where? knows that. 
Nothing was I'm false. I'm gonna tell you this right now. You didn't right even now. sit there since you Watch stalked when me so I much. Hide them you didn't from show my me shit. the video of where They're this comment now, right? was, so I can find it. But I let me go back. Of going back to Let back, me refresh. especially on my alt YouTube account in the Gone, blues, right? Because they're fucking To hit. find it. So because I nowhere. hid and blocked so fucking, fucking lying. lying on both of their accounts, how else am I going to see more of their fucking shit? Because I fucking blocked them. So you want to keep lying out of your fucking ass? Here's your fucking evidence. I'm going to go on my Indie Blue account which is an alt account, I'm going to see if that fucking comment is still there from Lumi. But if I find it, it's not fucking there. I swear to God, but I'm telling you, because I blocked Lumi and I hid her from my channel, I don't know how else she's still posting anything because in the screen, sh screen recording that I just showed, just showed proof that after I blocked one of Flutter's fucking friends and I refreshed it, their comment was automatically gone after I fucking blocked them. Let me fucking find out. Let me find out. Because if they're saying it's in a video, but I don't see in what video. They did not state which one. So, you know what? I'll find it in a fucking post that I have. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it either. Not it either. And look, Lumi posted, commented on this one, and because I hid and blocked them, they're not there either. And I'm on an alt account. Funny, right? Funny fucking weird. Oh, would you look at that? That's not there. That's not there, because there's no comments on that one. Hello, this is Rainbow Rune here, and I forget. That's removed because I, even if I click on that account, it's gone, but there are comments there, but I don't see it. So, Flutter, why do you gotta lie? One, here's evidence. Hiding a channel on YouTube makes it private and removes it from search results, so it's not discoverable to others. Content, videos like subscriptions, subscribers, and all those other stuff. Activity, you can still watch, like, and subscribe to the channel, but your activities will be private. Comments, all comments you made on YouTube videos and replies to comments are permanently deleted. Permanently deleted. Right fucking there. Right fucking here. Permanently deleted and won't appear when you reactivate your fucking account. But when I went to tell her that she needs to delete that she needed to delete the and i specifically told you that because i hid and blocked lumi their comments would be deleted regardless especially my account would be private to them unless they make an alt account i just found evidence of that and proof and just showed it yet you're still fucking here saying false shit that I endorse doxing when I do not and playing fucking victim as you always do. Comments. That's all I wanted was just for her to delete the comments whenever they happen and she yelled at me. Side, I apologize, but where does it say that I endorsed it? Where's proof that I yelled at them? I did not yell at them. I told them exactly how I felt about it and told them exactly that I did what I fucking could have. So the fact that you lie saying I endorse fucking doxing and the fact that you lie to your fucking people of shit that's not true to play victim is fucking ridiculous. Because unfortunately she cares more about how her image looks than somebody literally being put in danger. So yeah, let's definitely play the victim card, uh, Flutter, mm -hmm. and then lie about me. Let's see how that gets you. I showed evidence. I got shit to back it up. Now you look like a complete fool. Mm -hmm. Now you have your friends also messaging me, harassing me, and saying vile shit, saying that I couldn't let go of a friendship. I have let it go. You did not. You never have. You always had an obsession towards me, Flutter. 
You always, always have. Even your IRL friends or ex-friends, like Gory, for an example. Yeah, Gory always told me that you had a huge obsession with me. Hayden? Hayden always told me that. Everybody has. You are not the victim. And you no longer will. This ends now. I am done with your abuse. I'm done with your guilt trip. I'm done with your manipulation. And I am done with so much other shit. Especially after today. You literally suicide baited in my fucking DMs. And then play this shit. Then you play this route. Sitting there saying people villainize you? No. We call you out because you're still doing the shit that you've been doing for seven plus fucking years to everybody, including me, and we're all fucking done with it. If you're gonna do that child's play fucking high school baby shit, then maybe go back where you belong over there. Because honestly, I don't think you're a 23-year-old person. You are acting like your shoe size. Always, 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 always playing fucking victim! Always! You're never in the wrong! Never! You never were! Never were! Never have! At least I know when I'm in the wrong. I've admitted numerous times so far within the past two years so so far. So close! I admitted how horrendous I was. I admitted how fucked up I was. I admitted what I've done. I have. Then you sat there fucking telling me to choke on glass. That I deserve to die. That I deserve to be groomed. That I deserved everything. Everything. You only care about yourself, Flutter. You're the one that only cares about your online reputation. I stopped caring. But you lying saying I endorse fucking doxing? You realize I had to make sure that a fucking minor was okay on the internet from doxing recently? You realize that I had to be sure that no fucking grown ass woman who was known to be a pedophile that I exposed already fucking doxing children and harassing them. So don't you ever, ever say I fucking endorse shit. Go touch some grass, get off the internet, and get the fuck out of my fucking face. Stop fucking stalking me. You're an obsessive fucking coward. I hate you so fucking much. But yet I fucking defended you from your fucking, 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 fucking friend that I also hate. I don't like none of y'all. But well, yeah, I fucking wasted my time defending your ass. Things are never straightforward, and this story. Is and this is the things I get for you to fucking lie in my name. And if you're gonna sit there and say, "Oh my God, vamps being a child," I'm unleashing my emotions and being pissed. Cause all you do is lie, lie, lie. That's all you're known for. It's fucking lying. And then when people get pissed off at you, oh, I'm sorry, I'm the victim. I did not, fuck off, fuck you. This was literally escalated and dragged for absolutely fucking lutely no damn reason. None whatso fucking ever. This should not have fucking happened. Literally none of this needed to happen. None of this. None whatsoever. This is so fucking stupid. It was petty. They, at this point, they just wanted a fucking excuse to spread some shit around. Common sense, if you're doxxed, if someone came to your house because of whatever it was, did common fucking sense, call the police. Make a report not fucking spread shit on social media. That's how your ass got doxxed in the first place. So you go back to the to the situation at hand as to why you were doxxed in the first place to start more shit. And now you caused unnecessary drama 
and unnecessary problems for a person that is not even a part of your bullshit. You just put them in there for no reason. Literally emphasizing what she is trying to tell you, and yet you still take that as fucking yelling. Are you that fucking stupid with conversation? This is a literal conversation. If you cannot understand conversational text, is somebody cooking something? My cousin's cooking. Oh, is it on your end? It's on my end. Who the f- who the fuck had the oven on? Yes, yes, you can. Because I'm tired of this shit. Like, how the fuck? Oh no, I'm not the type of person to dox people. Okay, I've did it. Did you have I the oven it. on? I did it once, and I felt extremely oh. disgusted. That was with somebody else. Yeah, it did. I thought it was. I thought she left it on. Like literally, how the fuck do you go from finding out? I still can't get my head like wrapped around this shit. Like, how do you? How the fuck do you go from? The math ain't math. I found somebody. I found out that I'm being doxxed. Oh no! Somebody showed up by my house. I'm going to talk to Tyra about this. You don't talk to the person. You talk to the police. You call the fucking cops. Are you that fucking dense? That is literally something I cannot wrap my head around. If you are scared for your life, if you're it's just oh oh I'm bad, oh I'm scared for my life. I'm gonna make it this other person. Exactly, exactly, what? exactly. If you are that scared for your own fucking life, you can call the police. I know this shit because my friend went through it. My mom went through it. Literally, you can call the police. You can ask them to do patrols around your area to make sure that your area is safe. And if at all you need police escort to go somewhere, then you can fucking do that too. Literally, literally. It's 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 it's, it's, it's common it's common fucking knowledge. If your personal information is being spread around, and people are actively using that to 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 for their personal gain, and to to put it to put the fear of God in you or to risk your life. Exactly. That's not, that's not something a person over the fucking internet should have to fucking worry about and take care of. That's something the law enforcement needs to be involved in. This is if someone is doxing your your home address, your your personal information, that is illegal. That is a legal matter, not a personal it's matter. It's literally a legal matter. If you are that scared for your own fucking life. And on top of that, if your fucking mental is that bad, I work in the fucking medical field, okay? You can literally check yourself in. And then once you are ready to leave, you can check yourself out and go to the financial office or the financial aid office and ask for such and such amount of years or months to pay it off. But that also means that this motherfucker needs to get off off her ass and get a decent fucking job. It doesn't matter if it's food service. It doesn't matter if it's a vape shop. It doesn't even matter if it's a store. You need to do something to get you some money. Art is only going to get you so far, okay? You have no barely any platform, okay? If you had a platform like all these other big artists, you can literally live off of that shit on your own. But since this economy is so fucking bad, you cannot even do that. Some big artists still go to work. Oh, man. Well, it's three o'clock. Do I even have any food that can at least help my playlist just go up by at least a couple of stuff? I don't even have any food. All I got are, I'm about to just boil some eggs. This is is so so unnecessary. And uh, yeah, like, I, okay, YouTube has a block feature. Cool. If that affects the entire channel, Obviously, nobody's going to get anything further from it. Even I double-checked, okay? Even I double-checked, just to make sure. Because sometimes, if it's your own channel, you can't see that shit. I know Kyra double-checked with her own other account. 
but at the same time you need another person to double check so i double check there is literally nothing literally nothing nothing at all and the only time i saw something was with a gray icon and i tried to press on it and it wasn't there oh my god that's mind-blowing there is nothing there so how can you go and say that kyra is endorsing this shit when even kyra doesn't endorse this shit it makes no fucking sense none at all it makes no fucking sense she is blowing a situation Literally, you have been more. What do you mean that you weren't even endorsed? You just said you told Louis. I don't condone the doxing. I may hate Flutter, but I don't condone doxing. How exactly. is that endorsing the doxing? How is that endorsing? How literally you continuously tell people, I do not condone doxing. You say that in the drama videos. You say that I do not condone doxing. Is that in the third? Doxing is horrible. Doxing is this, that, and the third. You literally do not condone doxing. You do not condone witch hunting. You do not condone white knighting. It's literally a repetitive thing that you say in your fucking videos. I don't know how the fuck Flutter does not understand that shit. It completely escapes my fucking board. No, it's like, no, it's, exactly. Like it's literally her victim mentality. Everybody has a victim mentality, but for some fucking reason, Flutter has one that's larger than anyone I've ever met. Ever. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna just say this right now. She, uh, Flutter should have gotten what the fuck I had gotten like a week ago. <laughs> no, because I'm being serious. I got fucking bashed, bat shame, and called a harlot and compared to a damn One Piece character, a ugly ass One Piece character, all because I made the mistake of trauma dumping on someone. Literally, I'm just uh, how no because if you give that to to Flutter, that'll literally make her victim and have the fucking roof. Dude, they they need to. I I know people like Flutter at Disney Kids. Exactly. Like, what the fuck, dude? Like, I've blocked her on everything. I've or I block them on everything. I block them on Discord. I block them on Snapchat. I block them on Facebook. I block them on Instagram. I block their number. They're non-existent at this point. They're they're <laughs> absolutely fucking non-existent. non-existent. So I'm trying to figure out what possessed the right mind for you to come back in this person's life. Exactly. Start some shit. Go cry wolf. And then when it doesn't go your way, you proceed to go to the same cesspool, probably not, not, not probably not the same, but the internet as a whole, the internet that has got you doxxed in the first place. Like to when, when, create whenever, some more to create some more oh shit. God. Dude, whenever fucking uh, what's his name? Yo bro gets a hold of this shit, he's going to carry a new one. I'm trying to figure out where does where, 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 where does that make sense? Like, if Yobro gets a hold of this shit and finds out what the fuck Flutter's been doing, 
he's going to tear their ass a new one. I can already see it. Well, you didn't see it. Exactly. Like, why the fuck? Like, literally, why the fuck did you come back to Twitter? Like, they literally, they literally told me, and I quote, from the time that we were friends, back then, before the whole thing happened, um, I do not feel comfortable with going on Twitter because for some reason, I always get attacked and blah, 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 blah. Probably because you have problematic tendencies. Probably because you are a problematic person yourself. If you I was have just... such a bad, hold on. If you have such a bad mental, please check yourself in. Like you've been saying, like I might as well just go check myself in. Da, 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 da. But I have no insurance. You can still get checked in if you do not have insurance. It's gonna be a buttload more of money. But if you go through the right avenues, maybe you can get help with it. It's literally not that hard. There's a there there's a there's a way that to you know fucking get help for yourself. Exactly. If you're and causing problems, if pe- if you if people are telling you straight up that you're being problematic, a clear fucking indicator that like even it's Dia, not them. It's not them. It's you. Exactly. Even Dia, Angel, and Ghosty have said, just leave that fucker alone. And it's like, dude, I Literally, leave you alone. Leave like, that motherfucker alone. It's like, dude, I and leave Dia you alone. And the type of person that don't be in people's shit. She, she really don't. It's like, dude, For real. It's like, like I don't know. You're on this shit. Turn around and be like, oh, what was me? You're creating problems for yourself, stupid. And it's like, dude, like, I haven't talked to you since May. Well, beginning June. And then all of a sudden, like I said, I'm like, dude, it feels like every time of this year, on September to December, it's either Lumi starts her shit, or it's Flutter starts their shit, or it's both of them at the same time. It's like, do you guys... Honestly, you, know what I, you know what I realized? It usually happens around their birthday. Shit goes whack around their birthday. And it's like, dude, I stated I don't fuck with you. I want nothing to do with you. But yet you're sitting here saying, oh, Vampiric endorsed it. Oh, yeah. Vampiric yelled at me. I didn't yell at you. I was like, what do you want me to do? I did what I could, and you're making me look more like an asshole. That's what I said. Exactly. But, here, but here's the funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Here's, you can do absolutely nothing. You know. But if someone actually says, says the shit that they expect other people to tell them they're, um, they're wrong, right? Like, if someone actually came up to you and told you the world would be a better place without you in it, they're wrong, right? It shouldn't have to take for someone to get to the point where they actually want you to commit toaster bath just for just to get a sake of peace or anything at all. Literally. There, there's, there, there, is a, there is a helpful button. There is a helpful button to get help for yourself and to bring the peace of others. Called fucking nine one one, and it's like, dude, I literally had to make sure that a fourteen year old didn't dox herself because she did dox herself in a server. I had to make sure she didn't fucking do that and delete the message right away because she's fourteen. She could have been in fucking danger. I had to tell her that was wrong to do. Literally, then I had to worry about the same fucking minor getting attacked and threatened by a fucking grown ass woman and her husband and. She's a pedophile, and her boyfriend sits there saying he's a Nazi maniac. He confirmed he was. So it's like, where's your proof I endorse shit if I, first of all, protected two minors from a fucking pedophile who harassed, groomed them, this, that, and the third, after I choose not to talk to anybody, despite of them being a pedophile or groomer or whatnot, even if it's deserved, because they deserve no sympathy or anything, but I'm still sending in their way. Do not dock them. Literally, like this whole situation is so 
talking you know stupid. and if you're if I, if, if, and it's like if you're that scared why didn't you fucking call the cops exactly like what the fuck dude why did you stupid? Exactly. Like, why did you come to me about it? Like, what more do you want me to do? I'm not a police officer. Okay. This is what I'm gonna say about our cops here in Prado. Yes, some of them are shit, but when it comes to online problems, but when it comes to personal problems in the city, they are on top of that shit. Literally. I was gonna say, if if your life is in danger, come and fucking sense. Go to the fucking police. It's like that's like saying that's like that's like someone committing unalive, like a family member, like say like say that's like their mother shooting themselves shooting themselves in the head, and they go and you instantly go to social media. Motherfucker, if you don't call the goddamn police, but it's like that dude, why? Sense. It's, it's just like dude, why did you come to me? What do you want me to do? Like I showed proof. And stated my two fucking cops, like I stated my two cents of what Lumi did was fucked up. A matter of fact, I love how Flutter says, when Flutter says, Oh, I don't know who doxed me. You just said Lumi did, and I said Lumi did because Lumi didn't, uh, like, Lumi, Lumi didn't argue with me You're when really I said her name. Lumi did not argue with me when I mentioned her name in my community post. So that already tells you right there, it's Lumi doing it. So, again, I'm trying to figure out where the fuck is this your phone. That's exactly. what I want to know. That's, 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 the, that's oh. the part that I'm stuck on. How the fuck is any of this shit your fault? Because apparently I didn't delete the comment, but Florida yeah. didn't tell me what comment. Because like I said, if you hide somebody from your channel, it's clearly private. You can't comment on it. Nothing. So it's like, wait, because before Lumi could do anything, I blocked and reported Lumi. So that's why. Wait, hold on. Are you still recording? Huh? Are you still recording? Their I their both accounts are both deleted. I check because with you uh YouTube's new update, if I like say No, I mean like, are you still recording the VC? Oh yeah, I'm recording the VC. Okay, that's what I saw. Okay. Because um. Okay. Sorry, you go. No, you go, you go. But, like, I just think, like, you know, I've been, you know, blocking people on YouTube, but it's clearly, you're only hiding them. The, the, only, way, the only way Lumi could continue her shit is uh, if she made a new account. But because Lumi hasn't made any more accounts, and what I noticed is Lumi only makes two accounts per year to say something about Flutter. Literally and two I accounts per year. Shit. It's literally just a stir the shit box. But it's like, how is this my fault? I I I did what I could. What more do you want? Like literally, you can't do much because we're all on fucking line. What the fuck can we do? Literally, Lumi is across the fucking pond. And it's like, fucking UK. What the fuck are we supposed to do about that? And it's like, dude, no offense, but Flutter, when I met Flutter, Flutter gave me their address, but I didn't know what to do with it. Mm-hmm. But it's like, I mean, dude, Flutter gave, like, me my, and gave me theirs too. I know how to get to their house, but am I a dog seeing a motherfucker? No, that's fucking stupid. But it's like, maybe if you didn't tell random strangers on the internet where you live, this wouldn't happen. Exactly. Like, I respect their mom and their dad enough to not do that shit. But it's this is what I'd be saying. That's it. I only tell people the state that I live in. I if, if I know someone that's like, if I know someone for a long period of time, yeah. Because I knew them for years, I trust them to know, like, my exact location. Especially if they're going get, to gonna get me something and we talked about it. That's why I mainly tell people I'm from this state. That's all you need to know. I'm not going to say where, because it's 50 million different places in said state. I, I, could, I could be anywhere. You don't need to know that. You don't need to know my exact point location. I'm not going to give it to you. 
Exactly. It, it's just fucking ridiculous. Like, dude, I don't fucking like you, but yet I defended you from another bitch I don't like. Is that not enough for you? Literally. That's like, a, that's like if Tori got doxxed. That's literally like if Tori got doxxed. I don't like her. Nobody in this group chat likes her. But nobody's gonna also condone the fact that she got doxxed. That's not cool. Exactly. Exactly. But it's like, man, what the fuck, bro? Literally. Like, I literally dealt with Lumi shit three days ago, and then here you are on top of that. Like, I've been having a headache for two days straight because of the shit. My stomach hurts because I was just done crying and yelling my eyes out. I don't, I don't think Sweater understands what they do can be a problem, and how they execute it is a problem. They do not know how to execute shit when it comes to conversation, when it comes to interacting with people, and they cannot blame them their neurodivergency on this. This is a learned thing. I don't know, cause no, literally, this is a. That's mine. Thing. I'm just making boiled eggs because I'm hungry. <laughs> like literally, this is a learned thing. If you cannot communicate properly, which is why there, it's so hard for them to keep a job, they cannot communicate properly with people. They think that they're always right about things when no one is right about anything. Exactly. You are a employee, not the employer. You do what you can with what you have at a job. Food service will teach you that. It will also teach you communication and multitasking. Multitasking does not include you being able to use your phone and draw at the same time. It does not mean you can talk to somebody on the phone, use your phone, and draw at the same time. No. No, it does not. Multitasking is learned when you are on the job. If you cannot execute that properly, you will not get anywhere in life. Exactly. And that is a fact. You cannot get anywhere in life. In the medical field, you have to properly multitask so that we all of your freaking files are correct. All your patients are in order you, to where they can get their own medication on time with the right amount of dosage. If that dosage is wrong, you can kill that person. You can make them sick. That is where multitasking comes in. I've tried countless, countless of times to give them ideas of what they can do for work. And they constantly said, no, I don't think I can do that. Their mom said the same thing about the medical service when I was like, hey, they are looking for somebody at my job if you want to come in and you know work. They'll give you good pay. It's 15 an hour. They're like, I don't think I can do that. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, they're, and then their mom pitched in, which now, which made more sense because I was like, what the fuck, dude, you're not making any sense. It's a good job. And Slayer's mom put it in terms for me. And I was like, that makes more sense because the job that I had was, had patients dropping like flies. Yeah. No, not the, it wasn't. It wasn't the caretakers. It was literally the people that got too old and they just dropped like flies. It could. It, it could even be overnight and they just drop. But I mean, like, literally, none of this makes any sense. None it just it doesn't. Sense. It's like, dude, you st you messaged me at ten in the morning. And then at 1, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, you start more shit. And for what? Like, I already knew something was going to happen today from last night. Okay, like, I fell asleep last night. I was tossing and turning. I couldn't really, really sleep. But I was like, something is going to happen tomorrow. I know it. And guess what happened? <laughs> 
I hate my intuition, bro. But the fact that they're also sitting there saying, oh, people twist my words, they twist the situation, I always get known as a monster, and this, that, and the third, and it's like, but there's so much shit about you. You stalked a 14-year-old for two years! Exactly. Did you forget that? Like, what the fuck? I mean, DPD might play a role in this, but honey, this is a learned experience. You do this shit yourself. Just because you're online does not make you hot shit. Like, if you actually mean about changing, then show that, because actions speak louder than words, and you only, you only give words. Like, Flutter, this is what I know. Between me and Flutter, Flutter will say, oh, I'm sorry, and then not even explain what they're sorry for. I can say I'm sorry and say it for, like, two hours why I'm sorry. Like, literally, your paragraphs, and I can put it, I can pull it up. Because you've even apologized to me. The difference between Flutter's apology and your apology is she'll say, or they'll say, I'm sorry, and then turn around and say everything that you did wrong. Exactly. But when Kyra apologizes, she apologizes and then explains why she's sorry. We, I know, I have, uh, I've had to tell you how to do this, okay? So I can take credit for this shit. I am taking credit for this shit, bitch. Okay? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like literally, it's, it escapes my mind. How fuck they can do this shit. Literally. No, it's not because she ran out of med. They ran out of medications. No, it's not because they don't have a fucking therapist. Okay, I haven't had a therapist or meds, and I have close to the same shit that they have. I have BPD. I have bipolar bipolar disorder. I have manic depression. I have anxiety disorder major anxiety disorder okay i have been out of meds for a year and a half and without a therapist for a year and a half I'm this, so is the, this is like the first time i ever really had a therapist and i haven't really been on the appropriate medications that i've been taking and i'm not doing all this extra bullshit no, but literally, I, it escapes my mind. You can do I so much therapy, shit to like, improve I've your medical. For, I want to say I've been in therapy for, like I say, I want to say, like, I think a good three, four years. Ever since then, like, my mother and my father, like, my mother and my sister will tell you straight out being like, Kyra hasn't had any episodes. She hasn't blacked out. She's been more matured. She's been doing fine. Right. <laughs> like, I haven't been on medication for, like, four years. I've been in therapy, despite it being on and off. Like, I got diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. I got dysthemia, which is a type of depression, but it's shorter. Then you got the major depression, which is the longer-term one. So it's technically double depression mm -hmm. combined. Then I'm fucking diagnosed with autism. Then I'm got, like, you know what I mean? But, yeah, I learned to fucking mature and be like, dude. I'm not going to continue the shit that I did when I was a fucking teenager on the internet. It's time to grow the fuck up. I don't understand why Flutter can't do that. Literally. Literally. I don't even... I don't even believe that Flutter has autism. Okay? Because you can tell if somebody has autism. They oh, yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Journey. No, I get you. Yeah, no, I agree to that. Trust me, I do. I, I like... I told Flutter, I was like, dude, I was in school and I was surrounded by kids who were neurodivergent. I know. My cousin I, I was know, like, no. Literally, hold on. Okay. Literally, my cousin is severely autistic. Okay. My coworker right now is severe, is partially autistic. I call him my cousin because we're both Filipino. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, um, no. And then when I was working at the elderly facility, literally you can tell 
who is autistic and who is not. I literally saw no, nothing outside just, of the just better off with taking me to the fucking hospital. I'm really sick of this bullshit. I'm sorry. Continue. I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. No, you're good. You're good. I'm just... How the fuck? How? <laughs> what, what are you doing? Wait, how did you get up there? Freaking but, Gregory shit, man. Like, the what one... The <laughs> the one thing I do know, and I think this is something I think my mother said or my sister. My sister told me, she was like, ever since you've been talking about that you are probably autistic and you are getting tested for being autistic, all of a sudden Flutter self-diagnoses that they're autistic. Yeah, you can't self-diagnose yourself. That is a horrible thing to do. And that's how you develop complexes, which is why Flutter has a victim complex. This is exactly fucking why you, you know, do your research, but, you know, mm. hey, I'd like to make an appointment, you know, talking to a professional also fucking helps. You know, it sounds like you have the symptoms of this and, you you know, you, you think, you think, you know, I might have this. How about you fucking address it instead of just convincing yourself that you have this? Well, like, I thought I had, uh, I thought I, I thought I might have uh, paranoid schizophrenia because of how bad my paranoia is. And uh, when someone explained it to me, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll I'll bring it up to my therapist like or psychiatrist about my paranoia it's and see what they say. It it's good to look it up. It's okay to look it up. The yeah, exactly. Is, like I said, it's, it's okay, okay to look it up. But what what when you when you diagnose done? yourself, oh, shit. that's the problem. Yeah. Or, yeah, cl- yeah, or claim yeah. you what? have it without any physical evidence from a professional. Because um. I remember that a 14-year-old, I think, told the person saying, oh, yeah, Flutter was known to self-diagnose, saying they had, um, what was it, since they were three years old, psychosis at the age of three, and I guess the mother kind of said that's bullshit because how the fuck? How do you have psychosis at the age of three? (laughs) The only reason why I have the shit that I have is because I went through some crazy shit at seven. But that's also because I lived in the ghetto in California. So I mean I I have every everything that I have going on with me fucking developed over time. Literally. I have yeah. there's the there's the there's the traumatic brain injury and in that impact of having the traumatic brain injury, my brain like regret like not like how do I say my brain was not three years back. And that's kind of hard to say because it's like people will look at you funny but it's the truth i fell out of a 22 foot high window and landed on on head first on the porch when i was three (laughs) that shit does something to you right i mean i've I've been in like multiple car accidents like literally so that so developing shit over time is a bitch it is wholeheartedly a bitch yeah and but, yeah, I, my mom, my mom had the, my mom grew up dealing with doctors with me, both my whole my whole life. So whatever, dude, whatever, any fucking sense. Whatever she tells me stuff, it's like it's it's documented. It's it's given by doctors. It's told to her because I don't understand anything for the life of me. But yeah, no, I know Flutter was going around for for years now saying that she had this, this, and this. Hey, do you remember when she had that character named Trickster and for the longest time she's been saying that she had Topas and all that stuff before I even knew what D.I. Oh, was. God. Please, don't. <laughs> don't. Come to find out, apparently. You know, I remember three years ago, Flutter was sitting there being like, Oh, I haven't heard from Trickster or anything for a while. They've been gone, and I'm over here sitting here being like, because it they it wasn't true to begin with. You faked literally, it. Literally, literally, literally. Okay, literally. Okay. Like I'm like I, I like, I said, like, like I said, like I said, I have okay. I have a cousin. Well, yeah, but I have one specific cousin, and I remember she told me because we were at a birthday party. It was. My dad's friend's daughter's birthday party. So everybody was there. I went there. And I found out that my cousin 
was diagnosed with dissociated identity disorder. And I the first time I ever seen her like split or like have one of her tulpas or whatever like come out, that's when I was like, oh god damn. Like, you know, it was a shocker. But then I put two to two together. I was like, Flutter never did Can that. I, I was like, Flutter never did that. And I've seen them on camera all the time. Huh? How tall are you? Huh? How tall are you? How tall am I? Yeah, because I'm growing something. 5'4". Five, 5'4"? Five, four. Five, four? You're, You're just an inch taller than me. <laughs> You are literally, you are literally an inch taller than me. I am five foot three. If you think about it, I'm technically five four and a half, but I don't feel like the half is there, so I say five four. So you're five five. No, no, I, I am, I'm I am five, five foot three. I am, I am a pole. I've been five four since I was fourteen. Actually, fifteen. Actually, I've been five four since I stopped growing at fifteen. That's what my doctor told me. But you know what's funny? I'm taller than someone that is supposedly 5'5", five five, which doesn't make sense because I'm 5'4", that means you're shorter. Dude, I, for the longest, I thought, thought that I was 5'1". Turns out I was just 5'2". 5'2". <laughs> so we got 5'2", so 5'3", five so five 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 and 5'4", five okay. Well, my boyfriend is six, uh, six two and a half, six foot two inches. You know, his his his, his kneecaps is looking like mighty. His, his kneecaps is looking <laughs> mighty grabbable right now. <laughs> I can oh, do my no. chest. Okay. Do you know how funny that shit is? What? Being at my husband's chest. Like my face goes directly to the center of his chest. Right underneath his collarbone. Do you know how funny his shit that is? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so yeah, look, I don't, I don't have a tall, I don't have a tall person, which makes me sad. But hey, hey sure. listen, the, the most that I can do, the most that I can do is anytime I see a tall person, I'm just gonna kick them in their shins. No, literally, you can't. Do literally, fourteen can do it. Yes, I can. If you can't stop me. You will not stop me. Uh, no, 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 you cannot do that. You, you, you. Well, um, we were, I was at their house. This is when we were friends. I was at their house and, um, I was complaining about how, you know, I get a lot of back pain because of work. Well, they were like, well, you want to get high? And I was like, you know, fuck it. Why not? You know? So we got high and. I'm just laying on their bed and I'm freaking zooted out. Okay, like I can't even really talk. Okay, this is like the second time I've gotten high. So, um, they're like, your boobs are so big, and da 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 da. And then they're like, you want to have sex? I mean, like this, that, and the third. And beforehand, they asked me if they could see the dildos that I had um, bought, like, the previous day. And I haven't even opened them, okay? Like, they haven't even come out of the box. So, they were like, can I see them? And I was like, okay. So, anyways, um... I'm like suited out, bro. And then she's all like, You wanna have sex with your dittos? And I was like, Huh? Huh? I couldn't even respond. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't even respond. So then, like, she kept saying it over and over and over again. And I was like, I just shrugged, saying, Yeah. And I, uh, I didn't even want to say yes, dude. I'm literally, it was just repetitive over and over. You want to have sex? 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 I'm like, not really. But 
I mean, yeah, that <laughs> pressuring somebody into sex, dude, that's not they're not cool. There is more victims in this situation. But, um, I think I'd rather them talk in the comments about it because I don't think they'll be comfortable talking in a video or they will just say it on their own time. But there is other victims in this situation. But yeah, I'm not the only victim. Hayden's not the only victim. There's Cheb. There's Dark Void, aka Puffy. There's, um, Marcy. There's Angel, Dia, Ghosty. And then that one 14 year old that Mew, st uh, that Flutter stalked or whatnot. I don't know their username or actual name they would go by, but um, technically, actually, there was two minors involved. But the other minor that Flutter sent to the hospital because they have very, very, very bad anxiety was four to five years ago, but this is not. The first minor that Flutter has ever went after, especially stalking wise. I'm pretty sure this is the second or third, last I can recall. But there's other victims that have dealt with not just Lumi, not just Flutter, but I'm pretty sure both of them, if not separately, equally. So um, I advise to just block and avoid these people. Flutter has a victim capacity where they always play victim. And I had nothing to do with the situation. I've done what I did to block and report Lumi for literally doxing Flutter. As I stated, especially out of literally close to a raging point that I hate both of them equally. And I hate Flutter so much that I still took time like 30 minutes of my time at 3 in the morning to almost 4 in the morning three days ago to report and have people report Lumi, especially the other account. And since, um, since Flutter failed to show proof of the conversation of our DMs, accused me of yelling at them, saying that I don't care about anybody in danger, which is freaking false. And apparently I condone doxing, which I don't. Um, Flutter just doesn't know when to move on. Flutter can't let go of the friendship that we had. Flutter is very obsessive. And Flutter has the mental capacity of a child throwing a tantrum. And also has the mental capacity of always playing victim, especially when they're in the wrong. And then tries to say that, oh, I didn't do it, but yet there's so much against it. Like, there's so much about them that is wrong. Again, I'm not a perfect angel. I've stated so many times that I'm not. I've did a lot of horrendous fucked up shit. I've said a lot of horrendous fucked up shit. I've done the same similar, not same similar, but I did the shit that Flutter did. With tracing, saying fucked up shit, this, that, and the third. I have said it many times that I am not innocent and I'm in the wrong and there was a lot of horrendous shit I did. But even my friends, my family, and even my boyfriend knows that I've done nothing but admit my wrongs and just want to move on with my life and just continue with my healing and in my journey. But these two specific people are always doing something, especially around their birthday or when their birthday ended, doesn't even matter. I'm always the one they want to pick at, and then all of a sudden I'm the bad guy when I want nothing to do with them or the situation that they're in. Because I'm not a part of it, I don't talk to neither of them, nothing. Don't mind my brother yelling, I don't know what he's yelling at, but I'm pretty sure he's yelling at a video he was just watching. But at the end of the day, I'm just tired of it. I've been tired. And for people sitting there saying, oh, you can't let friendship go, I've let go of the friendship that we once had. It's Flutter who will not let it go. Flutter is obsessed with me. Flutter stalks me constantly. Flutter even admitted to me in a call a few months ago when we made up and became mutuals has stated that the reason why they stalk me is because they're worried that I'm going to quote unquote unalive myself 
or whatever's gonna happen because they feel bad for what they did, which I doubt they do. They don't, they never did. Because they were the reason why I felt very, 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 very on edge of wanting to end my life besides people in my school and then a few other people and my groomer. Then, you know, on top of that, loved bond me. They would send me money when we're not talking, send me money so I can talk to them. So they would bribe me. And a lot of, I have so much of the screenshots and evidence. It's not even funny. And everybody who was around that has seen those as well. And they know that I'm not fucking lying about that either. I am done with the shit. I am done with these people in general. And this will be my last time I even talk about these individuals. All I know is that if they come back into wherever they find me at or try to associate with me, or whatnot, I'm just going to continue blocking and reporting because I am not doing this any longer. I am not going to keep doing this till I'm even in my 30s. You must be out of your flipping mind. I got important shit to do, and I got other serious shit to worry about than what you two do on the internet, going at each other's throats, then love each other, being friends again, and then it repeats. You guys are both unhealthy, with this kind of mechanism, you guys are very toxic. You guys are very similar with your shit. Both of y'all are known for a lot of toxic things, especially lying, suicide baiting, this, that, and the third. And it's not even funny. It's not. Y'all care about your online reputation while everybody else that you associated with that want nothing to do with either of y'all have other important shit to do than deal with two deuces, two, not two deuces, Two specs, or whatever you want to call them as, I don't know. But nobody wants to associate or deal with people like you. Because we got our own shit to worry about when we already deal with people like you enough. So it's already tiring as it is. You need to stop, you need to get lives, you need to get off the internet. Because the only people who are worried about their imagery and their social platforms... And all these kind of things is you too. I had my white flag up for a, quite a while. I've admitted what I've done wrong. Countless times. And I don't even sugarcoat it. I made sure that was public for a reason. So everybody knew that, hey, Vamps did fucked up shit too. Vamps admits it. Yeah, I do. Because I've done it. What, what's there to deny about? Especially if half of it's already in the public. I, I already done it. I admit what I did wrong. I did what I fucked up. But the difference between me and those two, I at least grown the fuck up. I know my wake up call. I know what reality is. And I could not care less what the fuck goes on anymore. Especially with people. You have your lives, I have mine. You do you, I do me, we don't do each other, we go our separate ways. Pretty sure Markiplier said that 10 years ago in one of the Five Nights at Freddy's fucking videos he used to make. You do you, I do me, we don't do each other, we go our separate ways. It's common sense. Leave me alone. Because at this point, you're harassing. You're also sending misinformation. You're also stalking me. One of y'all send death threats at me. You send your friends over to do the same similar shit. I don't got time for it. And I don't want to hear it. Because I know what I did was not in the wrong. And everybody who associates with me knows that I'm not in the wrong and I'm not the bad guy. It's you two. Y'all are like 21 and 23 now. Get it the fuck together. On God, get, th get this shit situated. Go do something with yourselves, because the people that you associated with years ago, or months ago, whatever, want nothing to do with y'all, period. We don't want nothing to do with you. Nothing. At all. We don't fuck with you or your kind anymore. We don't. Absolutely not. So guess what? Go cry wolf somewhere else, because we don't care. At this point. Like I stated in the beginning, I hated you, Flutter. And I do with a burning passion. But yet I still took my fucking time and day. At 3 in the morning till 4 in the morning. 
to tell Lumi to fuck off and delete their shit, report their shit, make sure their account was fucking gone, which, by the way, I got informed that their account was fucking gone. And all this shit. And then I moved on. Because guess what? I did my part. If you're that worried about getting out of the house and you're that scared to leave the house, why didn't you call the cops? Why did you come to me? Because at this point, that sounds like a personal issue and a skill issue. If somebody, a random stranger, was coming to your house unannounced and you don't know them, you're going to come to me? You're going to come to somebody else? Call the cops. It's common sense. I don't know what else to tell you. But instead of calling the cops, you came to me and now you're playing girl who cried wolf, playing victim, and then making me look like the jerk. When I'm not, because everybody knows I didn't do nothing. What more do you want me to do? I did what I did. And then you kept pushing the issue further. You made the drama yourself. You and Lumi love drama. That's what you guys are obsessed with is drama, drama, drama. Reputation, reputation, reputation. Oh, I'm such a goody two-shoes. No, y'all ain't. I know I ain't. I admitted plenty of times I'm not. I came forward. And guess what? People see the difference that I actually matured and grew my ass up. Because I can sit there and admit, especially in a public live stream, that I had my fucking wrongdoings and I did fucked up shit, this, that, and the third. Even when I was on Twitter at the time, I did that. On Instagram, when it was public, I did that. You want to know why I have to private my shit? It's not because I'm running away. It's because I have to hide myself from you two. Because y'all are obsessive as shit and mentally ill in the head that y'all make excuses to not better yourselves and then want everybody else to babysit you. We're not your fucking parents. We're not going to babysit you. Nobody's going to sit here and keep telling you 24-7, oh, you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong. You should know when you're in the fucking wrong. Get out of here with that shit. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever the hell you're at. Leave me alone. Leave everybody else alone. Nobody wants to mess with you or be around you. Vampire Groom signing the fuck out.